Welcome to Culinary Confessions. I'm your host, Chef Mike. Today we're, today we're here with Trevor and Brian, and they're going to talk about cookies, I think, right? Yeah, correct. Excellent. Before we get into that, though, I want you to uh, tell, uh, tell the audience a little bit about yourselves. My name is Brian. I go to Marine City High School. I am a first-year student at Tech. My name is Trevor. I go to Marysville High School. I'm a junior and also a first-year student at Tech. Why, uh, who or why was your influence to get into cooking? I mean, you're at Tech, you're in a cooking program, obviously you want to continue on, but who is, who is your influence to get in? I would say my grandmother. I always loved cooking. Like when I was younger, I used to watch cooking shows, and I just, you know, used to always watch my grandmother, so I'd say her. Okay. Did you get some recipes from your grandma and stuff like that? Yes, uh, today we're making two cookies from her. I actually wasn't really influenced by a person. I was just in about, I think it was middle school. I had no idea what I was going to do. And I saw a commercial for a college. I was advertising, like, becoming a pastry chef. And I, it just clicked. I just decided that's what I was going to do right there. That's, I, that's the same way I found myself into, the, into this business. I, way back when, I watched a, a, a cooking show on TV, Creative Cookery, with Francois Pope. And trust me, that's been many years ago. <laughs> and I got interested right then. I knew that's exactly what I wanted to do then. Do you cook at home? Yeah, I cook all the time. What do you cook? Uh, my favorite thing to cook would be fried potatoes with peppers and probably burgers. Yeah, the thing I cook the most is probably dinners. I like to cook Italian stuff like spaghetti and ravioli. And are, are either of you working? Uh, you, know, you had a job at a big shop. Yeah, I had a job. Um, I don't work there anymore, but it was pretty fun. Okay. It. What'd you make there? Breads, donuts, stuff like that. Get is that is that what uh, you want to do when you get done? Yeah, I wanna. I wanna be a pastry chef. How, How about you, Trevor? I'm not. I've been looking for a while, but I don't have work right now. Okay. Um, well, you cook at home, so that's giving you some experience. You're cooking here. That gives you some, some experience. How did you guys get to tech? Um, we had a field trip in ninth grade, and, you know, I always loved cooking, and there was a culinary thing here, so I decided this is what I was going to do. Yeah, we had, a, like, a tech presentation thing at our school. I we were all, it was kind of mandatory, and I didn't know that there was a culinary program until that, and so then I signed up the next day. Okay, so when, when you get here, what, um, uh, what department do you like here? What's, what's your favorite department here to cook in? Mine would be bakery. Definitely bakery. hot side. You like the hot side, yeah. you like the bakery. Well, hot side does what? Yeah. So everybody knows it. Cook. Uh, lunch for the staff and like hot foods and stuff. Okay, so we do, we do the main entrees on the hot yes. side. And you really like the bake shop. Yes. And why is this that, that it's so, so different? You really like the bake shop. I don't know. I'm just so used to working in a bake shop, mm -hmm. so I'm just kind of more comfortable in it. And I love desserts more than anything. So, yeah. <laughs> Most people do. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get this large, not eating desserts all the time. Um, what are your plans after school? What are you, are you planning on going to college? Yeah, um, I travel? I think I'm going to, like, just for, like, the basic classes, like math and stuff, I'm probably just going to go to a community college. But I really want to try and go to, like, either the... Um, like the Baker College, like that new culinary mm -hmm. institute, I want to either go there or try and get into Johnson & Wales. Okay, that's, that's a good goals. And yourself? And I'm also going to go to uh, Baker, Muskegon. All right. At, when, when you get done with college, let's say you're all, you're all done and you're ready to sign up for your dream job, what's it going to be? Okay. What kind of chef do you want to be? Well, there's two things I like doing. I would, it's either going to be bakery or diner. And a, or a diner? Yeah. Yeah, um, probably would like to be head chef at like a nice restaurant. Not necessarily a nice restaurant. But. A resort or um, a hotel or something like that? Um, I was thinking more of just like a restaurant. Just Okay, freestanding yeah. restaurant. Okay, and yourself, resort, hotel, freestanding restaurant. I, I know a diner is, but how, yeah. well, the baking part? Um, I don't know, like I haven't really thought about it. Okay. 
I heard for some really talented for some for some really talented uh, pastry chefs, Las Vegas is the place to go to really show off your talents. Um, I know here in Detroit they have started um, using bakers and things like that uh, again in hotels and stuff, that, which is uh, another job opening, uh, another job opportunity for you. Um, let me ask you another question. Food Network stars, who's your favorite star besides uh, me? <laughs> it's probably a three-way tie between um, Chef Duff from Ace of Cakes, Alton mm -hmm. Brown from Good Eats, and um, Guy Fieri from Diners, Di Drive-Ins, and Dives. Now that, that's got to be one of my favorites, that Guy Fieri. Yeah. And yourself? Now I know Guy Fieri is in there because you want to own a diner. Yeah. Well, I can't think of the, his name right now, but the show is called Man vs. Food. Okay. And, well, it's really interesting because he goes around, like, to restaurants all around the world, challenging their, you know... I know he eats big. Yeah. Uh, hamburgers this size and stuff like that. Yeah. You guys ever been to that restaurant up in, um, I think it's uh, West, uh, West Branch or, or, or something like that, something like, like, somewhere up there, where the, where the mall is? Uh, I forget the name of the restaurant, but they, they serve you out like a pound of bacon in the morning. So, uh, <laughs> unbelievable restaurant, okay? <laughs> so, do you guys ever think about becoming a restaurant or a TV chef? Uh, yeah, I have thought about it. It'd be fun. I haven't thought about it, but maybe after this segment, I'll give it a little bit of <laughs> well, thought. this is your chance. Yeah. You're going to be a, a, a TV chef now. So, tell us a little bit about what you're going uh, to make. All right, first we're going to make uh, no-bake cookies. It's a really simple recipe, and it's a really big seller here at Tech. So just show you guys how to make those. And I'm going to be making coconut macaroons. It's a recipe I got from my grandmother, and I hope you guys like it. All right. Um, with that, at, right after the break, uh, we'll be in the kitchen, and uh, we'll go from there, right? Okay? And I hope, this, uh, I hope to try one of these cookies with a cup of coffee when I get done. <laughs> All right? <laughs> we'll take a break, and we'll be right back with the, with the chefs in the kitchen. perfect to be a perfect parent. When you adopt a child from foster care, just being there makes all the difference. My name is Brian. My name is Trevor and we're going to show you guys how to make no-bake cookies today. They're really easy to make and here at Tech they're really big sellers so you know you're going to like them. Alright, so first we have to add the first five ingredients. Um, first one is a quarter cup of butter. And when you add the quarter cup of butter, you want to chop it up in small pieces. And we're going to be putting the butter on medium-high heat to melt. And if you don't chop it up into small pieces, by the time it all melts, the butter that first melted will be burnt. So make sure you cut it up. Right, and the small, smaller pieces make it melt a little bit faster. All right, so we're going to bring it over here, like Brian said, add the burner at a medium-high heat. And we're just going to let this melt really quick before we add the other ingredients. All right, so yeah, the butter's still melting. Uh, actually, just finished melting. So we're gonna bring it back over here and add the, the rest of the ingredients. All right, so we have one third cup of cocoa powder, a half a cup of milk, quarter teaspoon of salt, and two cups of sugar. And we're gonna and mix this really well. Yep, and we're gonna like, bring this back over to the burner and we're gonna have this come to a boil and while it's cooking we're gonna take a short break. My name is Brian and my name is Trevor and what we've done so far is we took the first five ingredients of the no bakes and we brought them to a boil as you can see they're boiling in this pot here so what we're going to do is we're going to take it off the heat and we're going to bring it over here and add the last uh, three ingredients. Right here we got three and a half cups of oats, 
a uh, little bit, a uh, teaspoon of vanilla, and a half a cup of peanut butter. And you I'm just gonna use the rubber spatula to get that out because it's kind of like a sticky ingredient. We're gonna mix this really well. And once we get it all mixed up, you wanna scoop these really quick because if you don't, they harden really fast and they don't form right. Yeah, and then they just don't look very attractive. I'm sure they'll taste fine, but. Yeah. <laughs> all right, this is almost done mixing so here. So what do you think your favorite cookie is? Favorite cookie? Um, uh, I don't know, probably no bakes. No Actually, bakes? Yeah. It's ironic, because I would say mine would be coconut macaroons, which... That's weird. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're making those today. Wonder why. All right, so <laughs> these are mixed, so now we're going right. to... Scoop them? Yep. We have a three and a half ounce scoop that we're going to use for this. And if you don't have a scoop at home, works just the same if you use two uh, tablespoons. You just scoop with one and use the back side of the other tablespoon to... Uh, pop the cookie out of the first one. Right. Making a little bit of a mess here, but that's all right. It's cooking. <laughs> kind of like, after I scoop them, I'm, I don't know if Brian's doing this, but I'm kind of like smush them down a little bit, well, make them look a little all right. bigger. All right. Right now, we're going to take a break. We're going to scoop the rest of these and put them in the fridge for an hour. And when we come back, we're going to make our coconut macaroons. moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Hi, my name is Trevor. And my name is Brian. Today I'll be demonstrating how to make coconut macaroons. We already have a double boiler over there, which is two pots, one with water and another one on top which I'm gonna put ha a cup of chocolate in. And why can't you just put the chocolate in like just a regular pot? Why do you have to use a double boiler? Well, if you do that, it, the chocolate will burn and your coconut macaroons probably won't taste well. Right. And in this mixer, I'm gonna add, it's about three to four egg, egg whites. And Trevor will show you how to dem the demonstration of how to separate egg whites from egg yolks. Right. And we're gonna add the egg whites in here with um, a teaspoon of vanilla, and we're going to let this mix until it peaks at a high speed. Oh. Alright, while that's going, uh, I'm going to show you how to separate an egg. First off, you want to crack it so both halves of the shell are intact. You want to keep both halves, and you'll have one bowl to uh, put the whites in, and you're just going to toss the yolk back and forth in between each half of the shell until you get all of the whites out, which are just like the little gooey part on the inside. When that's all done, you just put the yolk in the other one, in the other bowl, throw the shell away. Let me demonstrate it one more time in case you didn't catch any of that. You crack it, get both halves of the shell intact. get this little piece of the white out. I'm just going to toss the yolk back and forth. Catching. And you want to you be careful not to bust the yolk. Right. Because then the yolk will get in like I just did. Yeah. And dump the yolk in there. Throw the shell away. All right. Here's We're going to let this mix and let it come to a peak. And on that note, let's take a break. My name is Trevor. And my name is Brian. Right now, we have melted chocolate in our double boiler, and we mixed 
the vanilla and egg whites. Egg whites. <laughs> and we let it peak. Now we're going to gradually add the sugar. So. I want to turn that out a little bit. We're gonna let the sugar mix in. Well, so why do you think no bakes is your favorite cookie? Um, so I like chocolate and peanut butter, and that's mm. all in one cookie, and it's yeah, it's really good. And mm. yeah, yeah, it's so. All right. You said your you said your favorite thing here is hot side. What do you what do you think your favorite thing here that we cook here on hot side is? Oh geez, probably soups because we get to taste them. I don't not, I don't really have a favorite soup. I just use like soup that we get to make because we taste it during and or that gumbo that we made that one time. That was oh really good the, too. yeah the gumbo was really good. Yeah, grab that. All right, I'll set um, this off to the side here. We're gonna add um, two uh, two and two third cups coconut. We're, we're gonna, gonna add all that in there and we're gonna fold it in. Why do you? What's the difference between folding and stirring? I mean, well. When you fold it, it don't collapse, like right. it stays n n nice fluffy. and fluffy. And if you mix it, it just kind of, you know, yeah, yeah. It gets rid of the air. Get gets rid of all the air, and it just doesn't turn out right. Okay. It look better this way. And um, you don't seem to taste the coconut as much, but they're really good. Yeah, I notice that when I eat them. Yeah, I eat too many of them. I have good experience. Yeah. Um, right. Should almost be ready to scoop. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. That's good. All right. So we're going to use the same three and a half ounce scoop that we used on the no bakes. And we're going to scoop them onto this sheet pan. All right. Is there any special technique to scooping these ones, or just you can do the same thing? Okay. Two spoons. Like. Okay. Oh yeah. 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 Well, these are, these seem bigger. It's bigger than like no bakes. All right, so after we, uh, we're gonna be done scooping these soon, and then we have to put them in the oven. And the oven is set for 325, and we put these in the oven for 16 to 18 minutes. Right. All right, these. You, we usually put them in nine minutes one way, and then you turn them and put them in for the rest of the time. So they cook? Evenly on both sides? Yes. All right. That's and about all we're going to get on this. So we're going to go put this in the oven and take a break. Cotton balls. Duct tape, spoon, needle, thread, scalpel. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. My name is Trevor. And my name is Brian. We just got done pulling out the macaroons, and now we're going to drizzle the chocolate on them. Gonna All right, so that. What's, you, the, what's the technique? That's what I was going to ask you what you were just about to say. Oh, no, I was just going to say uh, we melted the chocolate earlier, and I'm going to use a wire whisk to drizzle it on there. Or you could just use a fork, you know. Okay. All depends on what you want to use, and there's not really a technique. It's kind of just, just kind of drizzle. Oh. Yeah. Kind of messy, but it looks fun. Yeah, it is. Just, just look how creative it looks. It's like fingerprints. None of them are going to look the same. Yeah, that's a good thing. Need more chocolate. 
All right. Um, all right, we're going to let this the chocolate harden a little bit. All right. After he's done. Okay, I'm done. You okay, take that. so we're going to let this harden a little bit. We're going to bring out the no-bakes that we made earlier and put in the fridge. So these are nice and cooled now. Turned out pretty well. We're going to... We're gonna plate Just these. Grab a few. Look nice. And you want to keep them in, like not on the edge for presentation, so it looks nicer. Right. Just grab one more, maybe put it on top or something. All right. All right there's. There's, there's there. the. Okay, so we'll just put these back down there. All right. The chocolate's probably almost hard and probably good enough. Yeah. To no, let's grab just the best looking ones of these ones as well. Grab a couple these of these. Really good. Yeah, they do. Turned out quite well. Yes, magnificent. They were just gonna. That's. Yeah, it's probably good. There we go. And there's, there's our, our finished product. Put these under here. When we come back, we'll be talking to Chef. Welcome to St. Clair County, a great place to live, work, and visit. Our firefighters, law enforcement officers, and paramedics are highly trained and pride themselves in responding to assist you in a matter of minutes. However, in a large-scale event, emergency responders may not be able to assist everyone in the first few minutes, hours, or even days. Would you be ready if your power was out for several days? A storm can find you to your home for an extended period of time, if authorities requested you evacuate immediately. The Be Ready for 72 Hours program allows you to take charge before an emergency to assure your family and neighbors remain safe. Simple steps like having a plan and emergency supply kit can make the difference between being in harm's way or being safe and secure. Don't wait until it's too late to prepare. Be ready now, St. Clair County. Gentlemen, in kitchen terms, that was a sweet segment. <laughs> a little culinary joke there. Um, how did it go? Actually went really well. Yeah, uh, it did. Went more smoothly than I thought it would go, and I wasn't as nervous as I thought I'd be either. Yeah, I thought we were gonna like mess up every every turn we went. Well, I'm sure I'm sure the people that are working in the in the, the video lab is gonna make us look like heroes. Uh, they always do. Um, nothing ever goes as it should the first time out anyhow. Uh, so how was it to be a, a TV chef? Did you like it? Yeah. I wouldn't really, con I don't think I'd consider doing it as a career, but it's fun to do. Uh. <laughs> now that you've, now that you've accomplished this and, and we made a couple of nice sweet desserts here, how, how, what do you think the background um, for, for the big TV chefs what do, you, what do you think is going on in the kitchen when they're making all these different meals and stuff like that? Especially when you see Guy Fieri going out there and trying dinners and stuff like that. that a lot more than what we had going yeah. on, yeah. I can assume. <laughs> How many people do you think are working in the kitchen? A, so, a ton, yeah. So they're, they're, that's, that's an, another job opportunity. Yeah. I want to work for a TV chef because there's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, normally, I ask uh, the chefs and, and the cooks that, that, that help me out with these things, um, what could we do different to make these like diet conscious or something like that? And wow, well, it's kind of hard to do that with all the sugar, isn't yeah. it? Is there anything that we can do? Well, the coconut macaroons are already kind of good for you, I would say. Like, they're supposed to be low fat, but. Uh, yeah. Well, we had, if we can, if we can uh, change the sugar to like Splenda, maybe, all right? Um, egg whites, I guess if you're, you know, if you're looking at cholesterol or something yeah. like that, um, we can help that out because you only use the egg whites and that's better for you than using the yolks. Yeah. Um, and then maybe uh, a different type of chocolate, like a, like a, like uh, a dark chocolate. Well, a dark chocolate or, or uh, you know, like a diet chocolate or something like that without the sugar in it yeah. and things like that. Um, I can't see anything really bad about this. There's all the net, and there's all the general food groups. There's mm -hmm. chocolate, there's peanut butter, there's sugar. 
Um, <laughs> so we and well and there there's that uh, there's the oatmeal yeah, you so know you that's not breakfast. yeah a little bit a little bit of fiber there so um, that said I really enjoyed this segment um, when when you got this recipe from your grandma okay did she kind of tell you any stories on you know she like she obviously liked doing this yeah. when she was younger and stuff like that. Did she ever tell you any stories or something like that? Well, I know she used to be a cook and she right now she waitresses, so mm -hmm. she never really told me any stories, but well, you know, is uh, you know, did she she did, you got to find out if she ever did this for for your for your dad or your mom or whatever oh, and and like, and know. get the and get the little stories like the sea stories that she we She usually hear. always does these for like uh cookie exchanges mm -hmm. cuz you know, that's probably everyone's favorite cookie from her. Yeah. I'm a firm believer in getting recipes from, yeah. you know, your grandma and your mom and stuff like that, and then getting them to write a little story on the back on how this came about and where they got the recipe. It's it's uh, it brings history to um, the culinary the, the culinary end of it. Okay, um, I, I you guys going to be back next year? You going to pl plan on doing this again? Definitely. Um, I want to, but there's a good chance I'll be doing a off like a. Uh, like I'll be working at Big Boys for uh, three hours, like mm -hmm. a real job site, like uh, somewhere you would go to work. So you're gonna try to co-op next yeah. year? Yeah. Okay, and you're definitely coming yeah, back next year, so now. I'll expect you guys to uh, yeah. be doing another another sweet segment or uh -huh. maybe something from the hot side which you like yeah. better, okay? Um, thank you for sharing these recipes. It's been a great segment, it's been a sweet segment, and thank you for joining us in Culinary Confession. I'm your host, Chef Mike.